Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Data Driven Decisions. This is day five of this HR project that I've been working on. And I finally have a dashboard built that um, I sent off to my manager for her to review. Um, you know, this is just sample HR data uh, coming from Kaggle. And um, I wasn't asked what to build. I was just told to build it off HR data. Um, I decided to build a exploratory dashboard, basically showing, you know, simple everything by everything um, in a dashboard, um, just to show what's in the data, um, for me to validate that uh, the data model is calculating the metrics correctly. Um, you know, let's let's just jump right into it and I'll share my screen. So here's this dashboard that I built uh, off of this HR data. Um, pretty simple dashboard, uh, just a simple exploratory dashboard. Um, you know, with the filters, I added every single dimension um, that is in the table to, to the filter set. And that, there's quite many. You see them all up top. Um, and then I started off with the, the KPIs just in their simple form as just tiles. And there are six KPIs. And uh, each KPI is given its own color, and that color is used throughout every dashboard there under. And that's an easy way to really see a dashboard and to use color, you know, to di differentiate by the metric uh, being used. Um, that's what's going on in this dashboard. You see a lot of color, but it's very uh, consistent with what it means. It's it's just the metric being used. Um, so, you know, in this dashboard, I'm just, I don't know what was asked for me. It's just a simple exploratory dashboard. Um, I show uh, some things over time, the hire count by hire month. I give that the color of purple since it's the metric of hired employees. And then I do termination count by termination month. And that is in red because terminated is in red. And then uh, this is a time series of um, active employees over time differentiated by currently active versus currently terminated. And the color is consistent with the KPIs. The red is the terminated employees and the green are the active employees. Um, so with this company, you know, um, slow growth from the start, you know, it started in 2011 all the way to 2016. It was not much growth, just very tiny, but then it saw um, some, some pretty, uh, um, uh, what's it called, um, compound growth. And, uh, you know, it grew pretty fast. And, uh, you know, uh, it, it grew all the way from 2016 to 2020. And then thereafter, it, it, it shrunk a little bit, but still kept its size, you know, as being a big size of 200 employees. Um, but you know, from 2020 on, it didn't do much hiring. Um, um, and then at the bottom over here, this is very simple, but uh, just, uh, uh, you know, by every single dimension in the table, starting with department, I just show those six basic KPIs in a, in a simple table form. And then, you know, I just, you know, copy this table, duplicate it, and then uh, switch switch the the dimension and, and that's all I'm doing. It was very easy to create. Um, and yeah, we just see all the, you know, right here, we see all the manager names showing the employees, the active employees, the terminated employees, all that. Um, here's the big employee table. Here are all the employees in the table. This would, you know, be very valuable uh, showing everybody. Um, you know, showing who's terminated, who's active, all that. So, um, and then, you know, the filters work. Um, so if we wanted to just focus on, say, IT department, these filters aren't updating. Uh, look what we see here. Um, we have to uh, make sure all the, the filters pointing to all the visuals. And it looks like as default, it didn't do it for these. I got to just do that and I probably have to do it for all the other ones. Yep. Let me go ahead and do that. Uh, you won't have to see all this. I'll edit most of it, but let me just go ahead and take care of this. All right. So I updated every filter. 
Uh, let's just show how the, the filters work. So let's just filter on the IT department. And we should see everything narrow down just to IT. So um, you know, here's higher count by higher month. Let's wait for these KPIs to finish. So 50 total employees, 40 active, 10 terminated. Um, we're showing the whole time frame. For, so of course, all were hired. Um, let's just change this to a more narrow time frame. So we say um, 2016 update. We should see hired uh, less than total. There's probably a few people who were hired very early on. There you go. We see 48 hired employees instead of 50 total. Um, so yeah, you know, it just shows everything narrowed down to IT department, showing all the managers of this IT. Um, position. So yeah, this is just a nice exploratory dashboard. You know, I'm just showing everything by everything in its simple form. All the all filters are available, so you can just slice and dice this data any way you want. It's basically just showing pivot table after pivot table of everything. So it really allows you to explore data. So that's why I just call this a simple exploratory dashboard, showing everything by everything. And it's actually very easy to create. You know, you just create one of these tiles and then you duplicate it over and over again. But here is what I have so far uh, in this dashboard. Um, you know, I don't know what is next going to be asked of me. Maybe uh, security, row level, column level, table level, dashboard le board level security. Um, I'm thinking about making every single uh, attribute value uh, its own filter. So if I were to, you know, say click on data analyst, it automatically filters the dashboard by data analyst. Or I could create a network of dashboards where if you click on this, it takes you to a whole new position dashboard showing um, just what you need to know about position and then filter just on data analyst alone. That would be a dashboard network. Um, if I have time, I might create that. But uh, I think using using uh, hyperlinks, I'll first just uh, do it in its simple form by uh, letting it filter its uh, the own dashboard and, instead of creating a new dashboard. So yeah, I, this is what I got so far. If ever you got a new project full of new data and you don't really have um, an objective, you just need to create a dashboard. Start with something like this, just a simple exploratory dashboard, everything by everything. Um, you know, define the bit main KPIs of the tile of, of the dashboard. You know, what are the main KPIs of your dashboard? Here's are the six that I created. And then from thereafter, you know, just show every dimension by every metric and, you know, make color the metric. You know, it's just simple. I've done this kind of dashboard many, many times and it always seems to suffice for the customer, especially when they give a vague um, determination of what, what needs to be done. So. That's that. I hope you like this dashboard. I hope you learned from this uh, project. And uh, if there's more work to be done on this dashboard, I will create another video on it. Thank you for listening. Have a good day.